In a world first, a simple blood test has been developed that could help diagnose patients with the deadliest form of brain cancer, sparing them from undergoing invasive, highly risky surgery. 뇌종양 진단에 도움을 주는 간단한 혈액 검사법이 세계 최초로 개발됐습니다. 이를 통해 앞으로는 해당 질환자가 조직 검사 목적으로 위험한 외과 수술을 하지 않아도 될 것으로 보입니다. Tell us more. Yeah, this is very, very good news. Yes. Uh, so this comes from the Brain Tumor Research Centre of Excellence, which is run by Imperial College London and Imperial College Healthcare NHS Trust mm -hmm. in the UK. Um, and it's a simple blood test. It's got a sensitivity of 95% and a specificity of 100%. And what they're hoping is this test is going to lead to earlier diagnosis of brain cancer and also speed up treatment. The big issue is... Brain cancer is a killer. It's one of the mm. deadliest cancers out there. Um, and rather than having some very invasive and risky surgery, it's much better to take this simple uh, trinetroglio blood test where they're able to isolate these tumor cells that have broken free from the brain tumor and are now mm. floating around the body. Um, so it's very, very good news. And hopefully it means that cases will be caught even earlier and hopefully more lives will be saved. 네, 혈액 검사를 blood 테스트라고 하고요. 이 간단한 혈액 검사를 통해서 뇌종양을 진단할 수 있게 된다라는 얘기겠죠. 어, 그러다 보니까 이제 기존에는 어떤 외과 수술을 해서 진단을 했다라면 이번에는 피 검사만으로도 진단을 할수 있게 되는 그런 아, 검사법이 개발됐다라고 합니다. Diagnose 한다는 게 진단하다라는 뜻이 있는데요. Now, with this new technology, this new blood test, this could spare people from undergoing invasive surgery. Yes. First of all, let's talk about the meaning it's not here. The meaning that many of our listeners may have heard, things like spare change, meaning you've got extra. Do you mm. have a spare pen I can borrow? Or a spare tire. Yes. Here, though, this is different. Mm. If someone is spared from something or you spare someone from something, it means you save them from it. That's right. You stop them from having to do it or you let them not do it. So mm -hmm. in this case, this new blood test means that these patients don't have to have that risky surgery. Um, it spares them from the surgery. 자, 그래요. 앞서서 이제 여러 가지 예시를 든 여분의 뭐뭐뭐 스페어 타이어 할때그 스페어랑 이 스페어는 다른데요. 그래도 같이 알아두시면 좋겠죠. 어, 여기서 말하는 스페어는 동사고요. Spare someone from doing something. 네. 누군가로 하여금 무엇을 안 해도 되게 한다. 면하게 한다. 이런 뜻이 있습니다. 그래서 여기서는 아까 얘기했던 이제 외과 수술 같은 것들을 안 해도 되게 하는 그런 혈액 검사법이 나왔다라고 하는데요. Invasive surgery라는 표현을 보겠습니다. Yes, uh, you may be familiar with the term invade, which mm. means you're going into somebody else's territory, mm -hmm. uh, like you have the Russian invasion of Ukraine. Um, so invasive surgery means the surgeon is going inside the body, meaning cutting open the body and, and doing surgery within, in this case, the brain. Mm. Um, so invasive surgery is always more dangerous than less invasive surgery. So, for example, let's say you were having somebody stitch a cut on your thumb. Mm. That would not be invasive surgery mm. because we're not cutting open the thumb and going inside. Right. But invasive surgery means we're, we're opening the body, we're going inside. 네, 이제 구체적으로 수술에 관해서 얘기를 할때 어, 시술도 되겠죠. 음. 칼을 대느냐 안 대느냐. 네. 그거에 따라서 이 표현을 쓰는 거예요. 자, 칼을 댔을 때는 invasive surgery라고 얘기를 하고 칼을 대지 않는 수술이면 은 non-invasive surgery라고 얘기를 하는데 자, 이 경우에는 검사할 때 기존에는 어떤 외과적인 칼을 대는 그런 시술로 검사를 했다면 이제는 그냥 주사바늘로 하니까 non-invasive죠. Yeah. Can I offer a third kind of surgery? What's that? Keyhole surgery. What's that? And keyhole surgery is when you make just a very small incision, a very small hole oh. in the body, and you're able to put in, you know, very tiny instruments that can then uh, carry out the operation as needed. So is that not considered invasive then? It's a much less invasive process. Mm. I, th I think it's still invasive surgery, but it's mm. less invasive than going under the knife, as we say. Interesting. All right, well, here's the headline again. In a world first... A simple blood test has been developed that could help diagnose patients with the deadliest form of brain cancer, sparing them from undergoing invasive, highly risky 
surgery. Now here's the final headline. 